Hello friends! Welcome to Pascual Network! We are happy to introduce our newest series in our channel. Drumroll please! Welcome to our first ever podcast! I am your friend Ivy, your host in this podcast. And I am so excited for this. Because it is our prayers that our subscribers, our viewers, and now I could say our listeners to be encouraged by the goodness of our Creator, our only living God. We are far from a perfect family, not even close actually, but we are living by the abundance of God's grace and it is our deep desire to let you know through this platform that God loves you so much. Yes, this is the main purpose of this channel, to let you know that you are loved that the most powerful and the only living God loves you so much that no one in this world, not even your family, not even your close friend, can give that kind of love to you. So what do you expect to hear in this podcast? One of the many things that we would like to talk about is, first, as a believer, we will share one or two verses in the Bible that have encouraged us and how we can apply it in our daily walk in life. Just to let you know, I am not a theologian or I am not a teacher or even a preacher. I am a sinner who is saved by the Lord Jesus Christ through faith in Him and living by His grace. Since, Since I am experiencing His enormous love, grace, and mercy, I would like to show how it can touch yours as well. Second, as a family, we will share some few experiences on parenthood, our life with a toddler, and what are the lessons that we have learned so far in this journey. Third, and as a friend, we will invite some guests, I'm so excited for that as well, in our podcast. We can share their views on anything, yes, anything under the sun. For example, the latest topic in this world, or his or her experiences, learnings, and so much more. In every segment of this podcast, we will share with you what are the takeaways that you can get from our topic. So why did I come up with this? To be honest, mahiyain po ako. Yes, mahiyain po ako. During school days or even meetings sa trabaho, I barely talk, actually, and as much as possible, I would always keep quiet even if sometimes I know the answer, for example. Then years passed, there is growing desire in my heart to share, to talk in front of the people, most especially if this is triggered by my yearning to let the people know that God loves them so much. And since yun nga po nasabi ko na medyo mahiyain po ako, I chose not to show video of me talking, but just let the listener hear me. So here it is, one of my dreams come true. Welcome again to our podcast. Well, just to share some happenings in our family, especially during this pandemic time. As a working mom, sa maghapon po ay halos consume ako sa aking trabaho. Though, even if I am working from home most of the times naman. But then, while working, I have to cater the needs of my two kids. One is to assist him on his online school, like supporting him on his assignments, then uploading or sending it to his teachers. And the other one, my almost two-year-old kid, is to give my attention to hers, especially while nursing her. So, just imagine how crazy my day is every single day. So why am I saying this? The only me time that I should say is when I put my kids to sleep. Since both of my hands are still occupied, the left and the right, one is for Jacob and one is for Selena. So I just put my earphone and listen to a lot of podcasts every single night. So I find myself really enjoying it a lot. I listen mostly to encouraging messages by non-motivational preachers or influential women in our society. So here we are. I hope you can join me in this little word of ours. So for our first ever episode, I would like to share what I have learned when reading the Old Testament. 
in the book of 2nd Samuel. Dito pa lang po tayo mag-start. It says in 2nd Samuel 22 verse 18, He rescued me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. Sa Tagalog po, ang sabi dito, Kaniyang iniligtas ako sa aking malakas na kaaway, sa nangagtataning sa akin, sapagkat sila'y totoong malakas kaysa sa akin. In this verse, it is King David singing praises to the Lord. He was telling the sovereignty of God that in His mighty power, He is able to rescue him from His strong enemies, from those who hated him. For example, si King Saul and his whole army that were too strong for him. Imagine his testimony about God's ability to rescue him from his enemies. The only requirement is faith. That no matter how big and strong his enemies are, God is always there to rescue and give him the victory. So in our life, this enemy that we are facing might be the current pandemic. The enemy is too strong, actually, although it is very small that we can even see it. But we are afraid that it, it that if it hits us, we will get infected and will affect our health and even our family. It is too strong that it causes a lot of mental stress and anxiety. It's been months since the outbreak and our prayer is that it will stop soon. This enemy might be the illness that you are battling with. You might be in that situation for years or just starting. But this consumes your whole being that it changes your physical appearance, your view in life, your financial status. This enemy might be your problem that seems like there's no solution. Maaring ito yung utang na hindi mabayaran, trabaho mo na biglang nawala, or a broken relationship that might not be restored. Or this enemy might be our inner self that we are struggling with. It may be guilt from our unconfessed sins, anger against someone that you feel like there's no forgiveness, or the depression from the different burdens that you are carrying. And last but not the least, the enemy who is not getting tired to put us down, and that is Satan. He is our unforeseen thief to steal, to kill, and destroy. He will steal the joy of our salvation. He will kill our trust in Him and He will destroy our faith in Jesus. But God said, Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. So what is our takeaway in this verse? The Lord will rescue us. Whatever it is that you are facing right now, let us surrender everything to Him. Like David, he accepted that his enemies are strong. Therefore, he can't do it on his own strength. So what do we need? We need the Lord. We need His power. We need His, his love to rescue us from these enemies. Kung ano man ang pinagdadaanan natin, let us accept na hindi natin ito mapagtatagumpayan kung wala ang Diyos. You need God. I need God. We need God. Let's all rest everything in God's hands as He will rescue us from all of our enemies. He is fighting for us, actually. He is our fortress. He is our rock. He is our deliverer. So receive His grace and mercy right now. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, friends, for allowing your time to listen to our podcast. God bless and to Him be all the glory.